So the 1919 is unique in the fact that you can push the damage above 50, technically making this a two hit kill weapon, but most people will, you know, have some form of heavy set on, especially in the war, to negate that. But you still might have some good results with it. The cost, however, is a lot of recoil, because you need to be running either the match ammo, which is the longer range sniper ammo, or the birdie clay ammo which will drop your range off and you'll be doing practically nothing at 250 meters. So it's really up to you and your playstyle. If you're going to be doing a lot of close range fighting, go for the birdie clay. If not, just use the stock ammunition or maybe the sniper ammo. But me personally, I'm going to stick with the stock ammunition. Now the field adjusted sight, it's one of those like if you really want it, you can put it on. But let's watch the blue circle here and watch the yellow circle. There's not much difference. I mean, it tightens it up a little bit, but not really enough to justify the repair cost, so I'm going to leave that guy off. Now, the field trigger job, I do like on this. The gun can get some more recoil here. You can bump it up to 720 just with a trigger, and I kind of like that. There's not a lot of recoil gain at all, so here you go. This is the first decent mod that I can recommend. And now you have choices when you come over to your internal. You can either go for longer damage and range, which you're going to need if you're trying to push the damage above 50 again. Otherwise, you can either slow it down to make it even more stable, or you can speed it up to even 800 RPMs. It's really up to you, but you're going to be back down to 600 RPMs with the addition of the trigger here when you're going for the damage build because the internal does slow your rate of fire down. I however do like to use the heavy bolt and when we come over to the barrels again the stainless steel it just tightens it up a little bit just like the sight. You don't really need this but if you're going for precision you know knock yourself out. But I like to use the chrome line barrel on here. It adds just pure damage and range and a little bit more recoil but it's it's not a lot at all. So. With this, I'm almost to 50 damage. Now people tell me, well, why do you mod for damage when it's not you know, actually changing the amount of bullets you need? And it's the same thing I did with the MG42. I personally just like to assume that everybody has heavy set on, so any little bit of extra damage I can get for not that much recoil gain, that's, you know, to me at least, that's helping me chew through that heavy set just a little bit faster. Sometimes it'll make the difference, especially when wounded soldiers come up on you. You just never know. It's really situational, but it's not a lot of recoil gain, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. But again, using this barrel and this internal, if you add the sniper ammo to it, we're right at 50 damage within probably 100 meters. So you're really going to need the birdie clay, it looks like, to push it above the full 50. And again, it's only you're only maintaining that, that killing power here. I, I can't even see the yardage. I would assume maybe 75 meters. You really can't tell with the graph here. but So again, stock ammo is kind of where I'm at. I mean, you have choices. You know, you, you can mod it up just to be a big hip fire monster at close range with a lot of damage, but that's all it's going to be because you're going to lose all your long range capabilities. Now, for badges, I just bring fast reload with it. I found that with this setup, I'm really not having a problem controlling the recoil, so tight grip is not necessary. I don't find myself in situations where I have to hip fire it a lot, but when I do, I feel like it does good enough on its own without the steady aim badge. So that's my setup I'm going to run, so let's get into the battle. Look at them all go. Alright guys, so now that we're in battle, I can show you. Everything looks fine while you're walking with it, but this is the biggest turnoff for me with using this weapon. Right here these big old posts that are just in your face. Now some people would say, oh big deal, you can still kind of see what you're doing, blah blah blah. So let's just say maybe you're like, there's a guy behind this tree right here and you want to aim at him and you, you can't watch both sides of the tree at once because look, what if he strafes to the other side? You see what I'm talking about? What if he's strafing left and right? You're not going to be able to tell. Things like that really start to inhibit you after a while, and you'll see through the gameplay. Although I might do good, who knows, but let's get into it and see what happens. It's 
See, I'm finding it very hard to monitor this door. I'm worried about the left and the right side, and it's kind of hard to watch for. Well, I got one there. And again, guys, not, not everybody might have the, as big of a problem with the sights as I do. I mean, it's really just my opinion. It's why I don't use the gun a lot. And the game developers have actually hinted at interchangeable sights here in the future. I cannot confirm what update or whenever. But they have been talking about it. So I really feel that when you can take this big sight off the gun finally, oh man, America's going to start winning some wars. Because this thing is actually a very, very powerful weapon. Got him there. The recoil's not bad. I'm running the damage, you know, internal and barrel with a trigger. There's a headshot. See, it's dead accurate when you can see what you're doing. It just makes me worry when it's time to watch doors and trees and especially close range maps like this. Although this probably isn't the best weapon for a map like this. But hell, maybe we'll test some, uh, some of that hip fire out with it. Oh, and I'm down. <laughs> he sees me. There we go. Quick little hip fire there, not bad. Again, I don't think the the gun does bad at hip fire, even though it has a pretty big spread rate. The bullets generally go where you want them to go. Oh, we got one up on this box. Or he's outside. Oh, sneaky devil. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I had to whistle at him. <laughs> Alright, that was over too quick. Let's do another one. <laughs> Dude, already getting team killed. Alright, let's watch the door if we can. There's one. Oh, double kill. That's a free one. Triple kill. There we go. Not bad so far. Again, it's it's lethally accurate when you can see what you're doing. I don't know who that is. He walked into live fire. I couldn't even see what I was doing. Still couldn't see what I was doing, was just kind of hoping to hit him. <laughs> there we go. Go! Wow, this door is just not fair. <laughs> Stop using the same door, guys. Please? He keeps wanting to dance. Come on, buddy. There's another double kill. Wow. Oh, they finally got me. 
So again, it's not the worst gun in the world as long as you can maintain vision and control your recoil. It's like I've been telling everybody all along. I really think it's the most lethal gun in the game. But to me, the sights are that big of a turnoff to where I won't use it. I would rather use the M2 or I would rather use a Thompson or something. But there's nothing really wrong with the gun. It handles amazing. It's just absolutely lethal weapon. You know what guys, maybe I didn't give this gun enough credit, or maybe I just haven't really played with it enough. I'm sure in time I could get over the sight, I mean I'm doing pretty amazing here. I know this is close quarters, but still, it'd be pretty easy at long range to control this kind of recoil as well, especially with burst fire. I'm actually playing very careless right now, I'm just fully autoing everything I see. I want to do that flank again. I want to test this hip fire some more. Wow! I just randomly sprayed two bullets and killed that guy. <laughs> that was pretty good. Another headshot. Another one dead. Ow! <laughs> Sniper camp in their spawn got me. Okay. So let's see, 17 and 2, man, poor Axis didn't know it was coming. Is that his arm? Yeah, that's his arm. <laughs> I could just see his arm chilling, that's kind of funny. But hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'm sorry for the delay. I know I've been talking about making this video for a long time, but... I gotta tell you, them sights are that much of a turnoff to me that every time I sat down to use this gun, I just couldn't do it. And I genuinely surprised myself today, though, of how well I performed with it. So, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you guys. A lot of this was my own opinion, and like I said, the devs have hinted at being able to change that sight in the future, and I personally think when that happens, it's GG. America wins the war. <laughs> but. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.